The Lord bless you. I understand you came from all over the place. This is an altar of revival that gathers people from all over the country and from abroad. Wherever I travel around, I find people who are big fans of this service. Some countries right now, it is midnight or it's some daybreak. Like Australia, for example. There are people who have spent their night awake to follow the service going on here. So thank you for using technology to allow people abroad to participate in this service. And we welcome those who are following us live on the radio, authentic radio and authentic TV. Welcome to this Wednesday service. I appreciate once again this opportunity. This is your 58th day of the day of the 70 days of glory in the glory of God. Praise God for the privilege I have to participate in this day. May God be praised. Amen. Amen. I have people who came with me. Please, if you could stand up for people to recognize your presence. All of you came from Zion Temple. Stand up for recognition. God bless you for coming here to support us. We have two pastors here, three pastors and evangelists. We have Pastor Eric, Pastor Zaria, Pastor, Zaria, Pastor, Kibinda, Pastor Kibinda, and others who are here with us. You may be seated. We have Pastor Charles Gomshana here. He's a pastor, he's an interpreter and a preacher. He's married and has two children. Just so you know, he's married and he has two children. Nabonye sano no mono hano mvuka mu bijombo. The first time I saw him, he resembled someone I know from Bijombo where I was born. Rero ngiye kumuramutsa nsanga ari rwo mushana. When I greeted him, his name was Rwo mushana. Nageze Israeli ubwa mbere muri 1980 muri 1998. I went to Israel for the first time in 1998 and I saw a soldier 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 and I said, Praise the Lord. The first time I went to Israel, I met uh, I saw an Israeli soldier, and he looked exactly like people from my area was born. He was an Israel, but he was from India. And so I, mistake, I mistook him to be uh, from my people. And he said, I'm not, I'm an Israeli, but I'm from India. 
so people can look alike for they are all made in the image of God praise God I know you must be tired you've been here all day like the bishop said and you've been here hearing the word of God you heard the voice of God and you took time to praise God and I have seen a little bit of what you've been doing in praise all has brought a lot of a blessing you will bear with me also as I talk to you, as I speak to you in the word of God, from the word that we started with you, which I want to close today, we started it on Monday. I'll tell you two more steps to our greater glory, and so they will make total, a total of five steps. Steps to your greater glory your greater glory. Our, our meeting is in the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 9. Our where well, the Bible says that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former house's glory. And, and saith the Lord of hosts, and in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Like I told you, Israel has built two temples so far. The first was built by Solomon. The second was built by Zerubbabel. Which was expanded by King Herod later. And that's the one that the Lord entered into. And that's the temple that Haggai referred to when he said that the glory of the latter house, meaning this last temple, will be greater than the former. The capital city of, Jer of Israel is Jerusalem, but it is divided in two parts. Jerusalem is not a large city. There is the old and new Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem is where the parliament seat is located, the Knesset. The new Jerusalem area also has modern shopping areas and more than architecture, new buildings. But also there is the old city, the old Jerusalem, which is where the Lord walked. In the old Jerusalem section, it has four sections. It has a section that is for the Christians and another section for the Armenians another part belongs to the Muslims another one belongs to the Jews now in the Jews section that's where you have the city of David the western part the eastern part has two mosques which falls in the area that is belonging to the Muslims which is where Mount Moriah is found. There's two mosques. There is Al-Aqsa Mosque and Omar Mosque. Al-Aqsa Mosque 
rwa Zerubabel rwari rwubatse aho rwa Salomo rwari rwubatse Al Aqsa is built exactly on the spot where the temple of Solomon and the temple of Zerubbabel were built ikindi nanone aho niho Abraham yari akize igicaniro agiye kwica Isaac imana ikamwereka intama it is also the spot where Abraham was going to kill his son Isaac and the Lord redeemed his life by giving a ram to die instead of Isaac when you go farther in that same section that you go through the lion's gate which was known in the days of Nehemiah as the sheep gate which is where Stephen was stoned. Next to that area is where you have the pool of Bethesda. When you go farther, in that section, that's where we find the tomb of Jesus and Golgotha. Now in that same area, Golgotha today falls in the area that belongs to the Muslims. Uh, now another part as I said belongs to the Christians and another one belongs to the Armenians it is very hard today for the Jews to build the third temple because the area where, where they are supposed to build the temple is in the area that belongs to the Muslims if they were to build the temple now it is possible they might build it but world war would break out because all Muslims even secular nations like France like Belgium those are secular nations today France. and other nations do not support the idea of building the temple even Russia and China would rather make a coalition to invade Israel to resist the building of the third temple Ezekiel talked about this when he talked about Magog and Gog Gog and Magog Gog and Magog as sons of Japheth. They are the ones who ascended into the mountains of Gomer. Where it is called Meshek and Tubal. And Rosh. 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 This is in the book of Ezekiel. Rosh is Russia. Meshek ni Moscow. Meshek is Moscow. Now to be ni Tibril ni capital ya Georgia. But Tubal is Tibris, which is the capital city of Georgia. All the nations that are touching the Caspian Sea. Gog ni Turkia. Gog is Turkey which comes also into Mongolia. Now all those nations collectively known in the Bible as Gog and Magog include Turkey, China, and Russia, and China in particular. Before it became China today, it, drew, it had a part of Gog now all those nations are not ready today to see Israel having a capital city in Jerusalem. The only nation right now supporting that idea is the United States. And the United States cannot fight the whole world alone. But today as I speak, all the equipment, all the materials to, re, 
to build the third temple secretly have been collected and gathered they are following the statement made by Jesus they say we destroy this temple I will build it in three days in a moment like a twinkling of an eye in three days that temple will be completed they have gathered every material needed when you are on Mount Moriah right below it is the Kidron Valley now right within the Kidron Valley they have dug archaeologists have dug and went beneath the mosque area and they took the measurements of the old test of the old temple when they were underground where Solomon's temple was built then they took away the measurements so the Muslims discovered this later and the world of course made its noise and Israel never made the same attempt again this is a very huge tunnel people enter but now they have stopped that now in a physical manner the third temple they call it Hekal Hekal in Hebrew is building a temple but Kahal is the gathering or a congregation a congregation like this this is the church for you, you are the congregation in Hebrew the congregation is called but in Greek it is ecclesia it is you and I who make the church but the building is called Hekal Hekal, Hekal has pillars it is standing now in a two symbol way there is a third temple that is being rebuilt today called Kahal this is a church that is bringing together born again Gentiles and Messianic Jews right now as I speak for about 2000 years the church had separated, distanced herself from the Jews. Now, what was the promises for Jews? The church has claimed those promises. Yet God never changes his promises. And he never regrets every calling he gives. Now after 1948, Jews were repatriated and went back to their country. In 1967, well, during the six day war when the gentile nations wanted to conquer Jerusalem when the Jews wanted to recapture Jerusalem because Jerusalem in 1967 was under the control of Jordan so during the six day war general Moshe Dayan when he was fighting was able to recapture the one part of Jerusalem, especially the part towards the western wall, and that's where they go, the Jews go to pray to them. So Jerusalem that belongs to the Israelites was a very small portion. At the moment, that's when Jews started to be converted, to become messianic, to believe in the Lord Jesus. In 1967, very few of them 
a first Jewish man who got converted. At the name was called first man. His son. His name is Boaz. He was a first man. Boaz Fasterman is the representative of Authentic Word Ministries office in Jerusalem. Uorero, now that man, papawe, his father, was the first Jewish man to encounter Jesus in Antioch. Now around 68 and 1969, Two men who two Jewish men who were brothers, one of them lived in New York, another one lived in France. They they belonged to a man they were sons of a man called Be Bergen. Bergen. While they were seated in the living room in the morning. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Bafatumanzuro, <laughs> Ichemezo ume kugitiche choku jiru salemu kuja kwa sengira ngobene wa wakizwe wara hahuri na bombi wahuri ye umwa bajijuri kimuza nye amubira kwa ya huye na yesu ndara mwe ongo witinya na ajina huye na huye abona haba pastori wa biliyeru salemu umwe umukuri itu kwa binyamini murumbu na huye itu kwa rubeni abonga abona haba pastori wa biliyeru salemu now these two jewish brothers had a visitation by the Lord simultaneously. The Lord appeared to the brother in New York and he appeared to the brother in Paris and they understood now they have to go back to Jerusalem to begin to preach the Jews to believe in the Lord Jesus. So when one brother went to Jerusalem, he met his other brother and they both knew that the Lord had called them to preach the Jews. They were born to a mother who is a strong believer in Judaism and they, so they were livers by the way and they did not want to make it public known that they are believers in the Lord Jesus. They are now pastors in Jerusalem. Now when I went to Jerusalem in 1998 I had been invited I was invited by the brother called Reuben they lived in the same house they never got married they are always praying that their brothers their, their fellow Israeli people God opens their eyes to see the Lord Jesus God gave them a house next to the house of the uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth, the parents of John the Baptist, because they believe that they are the voice crying out in the wilderness. They have a church in Jerusalem in the section that belongs to the Christians. And they have a for a long time, there was a very uh, big divide between the church of the Gentiles and the church of the Jews. But now, gradually, they have started coming together because Gentiles accused Jews of killing Jesus Christ. Now, in 1930, replacement theology in 1930, the Germans introduced a theology known as the replacement theology, which claimed that every promise that belonged to the Jews now belongs to the Gentiles. 
itorero ritangiye kuza buhoro buhoro ni wi imana yatusabye itubwira ko tugomba ubu nk'umubiri wa Kristo gufatana n'abayuda Bibiri iravuga mu gitabo cha ba Efeso kabiri 14 ngo yaje gukura higisika cyari hagati yabo cy'urwango ngo kuko abara bawiri yabagize umwe ico gye yavugaga abayuda n'abanyamahanga And so that's when the Lord asked us to do something about bringing together the church of the Gentiles and the Jews who believed in the Lord as the Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 that the Lord destroyed the wall of enmity that was between the Gentiles and the Jews so that those the, the, the two become one now now two churches or two temples are being built but they'll be preceded by the first one the first, the first is the third temple that is going to be built it is a spiritual church God is uniting Gentiles with Jews to become one body you see us going to Jerusalem many times. Some people don't understand this. But what we are doing, we are building one body of Christ where Jews and Gentiles become one. What does that mean? The time for the for the Gentiles is coming to a close. What does it mean? What does it mean? The time of grace, the dispensation of grace is coming to a close. Why? Because the Gentiles were able to partake of salvation because of grace. Otherwise, salvation belonged to the Jews. But the time of the Gentiles is coming to a close. Now, if the dispensation of grace is coming to a close, almost closing, what is about to start is what we call persecution. Persecution is Persecution will not be openly exercised, although it's already going on today in the world in one way or another. It has already started. Today in England, you cannot preach to a Muslim. When you preach to them and they report they sue you, you get arrested. Yet, if a Muslim preach to a Christian, there is no problem. The UK it's where we get our Bible today. That's what the missionaries started. But today, if you preach to a non-Christian, you might get arrested in the, in the, in the persecution. That is persecution in one way. In the US, when you pray in public schools, when you talk about God in a public school, you get arrested. As a matter of fact, a teacher recently was sacked, was forced to leave his job because he answered a student using a biblical reference. Other nations have what we call jihad. Jihad niki. What is jihad? Navarguana shaka by Islam. There is a Muslim radicalist who do not accept and tolerate to talk to any other religious person. At many workplaces, you are not allowed to show that you are a Christian. This is persecution beginning. This is just like uh, labor pains. The God is warning us that the times we have had to enjoy dancing and praise God liberally is about to come to a close. 
does it mean? It means that hagomba kuba kwa rero urusengero physique temple hekalu rwa gatatu urwo ikizira kizahagararamo. Kugira ngo ibyavuzwe na Paul byuzure. A physical temple has to be built. The third temple has to be built where the abomination that was talked about by Paul enters so that the prophecy gets fulfilled. Now that temple has to be built. The proof that that temple is going to be built is the persecution. I'm speaking to you right now. Jews, they have every prefabricated materials they are ready if you give them one week they would build the temple on Mount Moriah. That's why they are in the minerals and gemstones business today because they don't just want to do that for business purposes, but also to invest that in the temple. Now, another thing to tell you, I went with a rabbi, a Jewish rabbi, a friend of mine, and he took me to the Negev desert. And I found young men between the age of 15 and 25 being trained on how to slaughter animals for sacrifices. And all those young men, they are Jews in the tribe of Levi. They are ready, they are trained that the day the temple gets completed, the priest will be there ready to carry on. What I'm telling you is not a dream. These are signs of times. Amen. Now the last temple, the last house has a greater glory. What is that house? It is the unity of Jews and Gentiles coming together so that we can stand in this perilous time. The body of Christ has now a picture. The body of Christ now has a shape. Right now we can see it. When I pray with Benjamin and Ruben and Boaz and, Boaz and, Boaz and Christabel and, Ingrid and Ingrid these are Messianic Jews who did not believe Jesus before but Jesus appeared to them now they believe but in him. They can trace down their ancestral for, oh, oh, all the way to Jesus. But they are always on Mount Moriah crying. Jesus Elayon. On, on the Mount of Olives. They are calling. Jesus shows show yourself to us. Jesus shows yourself to us. Let your glory appear. That was their prayer. Now before Jesus returns. The sons of God are going to be clothed with glory they have never had before. When time is about to hand over to another time something unusual will happen. When God is about to manifest himself, he will send his glory as an advanced party. You don't have to see a car in the night, but you can see the rays of the lights. In this darkness of the world today, there are rays of the light of God that are about to go ahead of us. And those rays of the light 
which wa, which is what you see today. Nabera Imana igiye kwambika ubwiza bwayo. They are the sense God is about to give his glory. Abakozi b'Imana Imana igiye kwambika ubwiza bwayo. They are ministers of God. God is going to give them glory. Nubwo ko Imana yitoranyirije urugiye guhaguruka n'ubuzutse butigeze bubaho kuva isi yaremwe. They are a people God is raising in such a great revival that has never come to the world from the foundation of the world. Imana kwiragusinga bo zitigeze zibaho zayo zishimisha zamba yo muco nubwiza bwayo aho bazaca hose nacho bazaba bakenye icyo uzashkenera bazaba bagifite tuzaba kangisha amafaranga tuzaba kangisha icyubahiro tuzaba kangisha diplome murabo ngabo harimo abize murabo harimo abakize murabo harimo abakomeye ubukizo ndi buzaba bukira abantu ba fake fake abantu babatindiwe bakene batagira ingweto ubukristo buzagira bize bafite ama diplome buzagira abantu bafite imana imira kora mu nzego zose irye no hini indura abagore nabagabo kugira ngo muri iminsi yanyu bahinduke fare z'imana bahinduke umuco w'imana ugiye kumurika ku isi yose god is raising an army of men and women who are going to serve him in a great glory they will have everything some of them are scholars others are intellectuals some of them are worthy they are no longer christian is not going to be belonging to people who are poor who are vulnerable who have nothing they are people who are complete in god god is sending them as the rays of his light ahead of him intambwe ya mbere ituma abo bantu bazakira ubwiza bwabo nubusabane bwabo na yesu ni yesu muri bo ibyiringiro byibwe step to the greater glory of this people is the relationship they have with jesus jesus in them the hope of glory intambwe ya kabiri nukureka yesu agakora muri bo akubaka step is to allow jesus to build them ngo nimure nimusenye nanje zubaka this true this temple i will build it in three days intambwe ya gatatu nugusaba guhindirwa amateka ni sengesho bafite rifite precision ndi basenga ngaba tazi cyo basenga babwira imana ikintu bifuza imana ikagikora the third step is to pray and ask God precisely what they want him to change in their lives. Jabez was more honorable than his brother. Because he asked the fourth step and the fifth step I'll talk about tonight. The fourth step transformation. is transformation. 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 Somebody shout transformation. 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 Do you repeat Go. when somebody asks? Nagatatu. Nagatatu turi melange melange. So we are mixed up here. Ndagira ngo subire mango guhinduka. Repeat transformation. Guhinduka. Transformation. Mu gitabo cha Yohana in the book of John, igice cha mbere, chapter 1. Ku murongo wa 14, verse 14. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. Vuga ngo guhinduka. Somebody shout transformation. Ooh. Zaj. It's coming. Turi kumwe. Are we together? Jesus. <laughs> Jambo uwo. Yabaye umuntu. Cyangwa se yahindutse iki? Umuntu abana natwe. Mm. Entre parenthèse. Tubona ubwiza bwe. Busa nubwo umwana w'ikinege wase yuzuye ubuntu nukuri. John chapter 1 verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of, as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth jambo the word akiri <laughs> jambo while he was still the word ubwiza bwe ni bwabonetse his glory was not seen. Yagomba guhindura ishusho. Sorry. He had to change his image. Vugira hejo. Excuse me. No problem. Jambo, the word. Yahindutse umubiri become flesh ichari chuka na what was spiritual ichari visible vapere what was like a vapor 
what was like wind became tangible and then we saw the glory hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah what was the vapor cannot show its glory but there was a transformation there was a transformation from glory we saw the glory of what we saw what was transformed became glorious what was the word it had no glory. When I talk to Pastor Kado, and I tell him I give you a cow, that is the word. When I bring a spotted cow, he will see the beauty of the cow. The word becomes a cow. Oh, hallelujah! 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 The glory of something appears when that thing has been transformed. The reason why you haven't seen your glory, you are still sleeping on your promises, but I pray that your promises will become a tangible glory. As long as you're still living by promises, you are still poor. But you are sleeping on the one that says, I will receive, yet you are hungry today. I will dress nicely, but you're naked today. I will study, yet you are home. I will work, but you are an employer. Nobody on us. You are begging. But the day the promise becomes tangible. And they keep a job. You drive your car. People will be sure. That's so when we see you. We saw glory. The glory will appear. When the word gets transformed. When the word is transformed. The word becomes flesh. The Lord become tangible. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Tonight, promises must stop and become something. Promises must cease. They all die believing, waiting for the promises. We don't want to be among those who die waiting for the promises. How many of you heard of this of the proverb of Abinwas? Abunwas. Abunwas was a poor man. He loves to make ugali without soup. And he would sit next to a bar where they were roasting meat. Now when the smell of roasted meat came, he would eat his ugali. He sat in a place where he would smell roasted beef. That is the man called Abunwas. Whenever he smelled beef, he would eat his ugali. Now when another smell he would swallow the food. That is how he ate his ugali. You need to sit from Abunwas' style tonight. 
You are smelling the breath, the smell of your promises, but you cannot touch them. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. We need to see your glory. We saw the word. We became flesh. He had a glory. He had a glory. Like an only begotten son of God. An only begotten son. They never share any inheritance. They enjoy everything. An only begotten son. We breast meat. We breastfeed their mother alone, and no one else will share the breast meat. But with the last bones, we come to take what others have left behind. But an only begotten son. They will be weaned when they are twelve. They will sleep where the parents sleep until they are eighteen. Every goodie, every cookies, every wonderful thing is given to this only begotten son. We beheld him, the only begotten when the flesh became the when the one became the flesh, he was like of the only begotten son of God. Listen, my brother, there must be transformation. Transformation of your promises, of your, words, of your mind, of your greatness. You must transform. You must get angry at your life. And son in the transformation. And in transformation. The word transformation. In Greek, it is metamorphosis. That's why you get the word metamorphosis. But it's metamorphosis. Before a butterfly becomes a butterfly, it's a butterfly. It starts like a caterpillar. And then after being a caterpillar, it keeps, it keeps changing to become an insect. And it loses the former shape to take a new shape. One day, it will get out of the cocoon and get out as a butterfly. After some time, it will lose the body of the caterpillar and they will develop the wings. After developing wings, it begins is flying. Let me tell you, brethren, a butterfly is like a bird. It's a bird of all the birds. It has strength to cross the oceans. Butterflies can, butterflies can sweep, can fly above an ocean. A, a plane will fly for about eight hours above the oceans. About 10,000 nautical miles. But a butterfly will fly above an ocean and go and go and go and go and cross to America because of the power of transformation. If you want to go far where you will never be limited by time not limited by people transform your mind transform your soul. The word became flesh. Paul said to Romans 12, 12, uh, 12, 2 said, be transformed in your mind. Are you ready to transform? Transform your walk. Transform your life. Transform your circumstances. Transform your action. Transform your thoughts. What was what? Put into action. Then we we'll see your glory. Your glory. That's when we we'll see it. Normally, people who are full of glory, they don't talk loud. They work loud. 
But when you meet somebody who is very noisy, learn that they are empty. When you hear somebody claiming I'm great, they must be not great. The great never make noise about it. The rich never boast about their wealth. No. It's only those who are empty who make the boast. A wise person won't claim to be wise. Mm -mm. No. When you meet somebody who claims to know much, just flee from them. They must be empty. That's the way it is. But when you have the glory, the glory speaks. The glory can speak. The word became flesh. Jambo. The word became flesh. I was in South Korea. We had a conference there of great people Bishop, bishops, and great business people brought by the bishops. We were about 100 people. Four great churches in South Korea had organized this conference. The assembly the Assemblies of God, uh, Yongichu Church, the Church of Yongichu. A great Methodist church in South Korea of about 100,000 members. A Presbyterian church that had about 95,000 members. A Baptist church. And the Baptist church. Those churches had organized the conference. So we went to our hotels. And in the morning we would go to the conference. Not a conference where you would it was not a conference that was made in a, sh in a way that you had a speaker to come and preach. No, it was a, a conference of sharing. You went forward and presented about your experience and then people interacted by asking questions. We were only three blacks, myself, another from Kenya, Bishop Kapachia, who passed away, and another one from Nigeria called Michael Konko. So they put us in the hotels. Whenever I woke up in the morning, I would find a very short South Korean man waiting for me at the hotel door, at the hotel room door. And would say, Hello, sir. Hello, sir. And I would say, Yes. Sir. And I would feel great. I'm all right. And he would say, sir, can you leave me with your clothes so that I can do laundry for you? Uh, your shoes seem to be dirty. Can I polish them for you? And I would give him my shoes. Then he would polish my shoes. Whenever I would leave the hotel room, I would find the lift open waiting for me. Then I'll get in the lift and go down. Now, while we were eating, I said, Kabachi. And I said, I said to him, I did know that in Korea they have houseboys like we do in our countries. He said, Do you have one? But in Anji. He said, I also have him. So we exchanged about what we were seeing as their service. 
We just thanked God. On our last day to go home, and I said, I need to tip this man. He has served me so well. Let me just give him a, a tip of $100. So we shared together. After we had shared our food, Elia Dantas, who was the leader of the conference at the time, he was from Brazil. He said, let me ask the Methodist pastor here in Korea to thank the people who served us. They stood up all together. There were about 30 men, very short. You know, Koreans are very short like Chinese. I had a hundred dollars that when I'm about to leave, I'll give it to him as a tip. And I, didn't, I didn't have much money actually. That was part of what I had. However, I was pretending to be heavy before him. I pretended to be great before him. He said, let me ask Kim Lee to say something. He was the guy who served me. He bowed. And he said, I apologize for whatever wrong I might have done to my boss. I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, 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 and he said, I would like to tell you, I am the one who represents Korea Telecom in the nation. <laughs> and I remembered my hundred dollar bill that I was about to give him as a tip. And because Koreans look alike so much, I, I thought maybe he's not the one. But then because he mentioned that he had served me, I knew he was here. What telecom company? MTN. MTN is the biggest telecom company. He was the CEO of the leading telecom company. Slept by the door of my hotel room. And he would polish my shoes. I would find he had taken all my clothes, including my underwear, to the laundry. And I was a little bit confused. Kapachia, <laughs> who was standing next to me, kind of signaled to me, he is, he was in charge of all the Navy in South Korea. In the military. That man, the one who served me, made a hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month as his salary. I remember <laughs> I still had my one hundred dollar bill to give as a tip. I had a battle in my mind, in my heart, and in my spirit, and in my body. All the people who served us as Asha, so to speak, were CEOs. And amazingly, they, they were all deacons in their churches. They helped people to sit. Imagine if the CEO of MTN Rwanda is your usher here. I was amazed. When the conference finished, I put him on a side. I said to him, I said, I'm very sorry. I must have mis misbehaved. He said, no. You are such a wonderful man. 
When I remembered how I gave him my shoes to polish them, I felt very small before him. I, I struggled to find ones to explain what I felt when I remember that I gave him my shoes to polish them. And I said to him, you will, I will apologize to you, forgive me. I thought you were just a nurse or a housekeeper. And I had prepared a hundred dollars as your tip to give to you. Then he told me that he makes hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month without other benefits. Housing, cars, air travel, all the benefits which all total to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month. <laughs> of United States dollars. He looked at me and laughed. And he said, God bless you for your generous heart. I asked him, would you please bear with me and accept my tip? He looked at me he said, no. We came to serve God. And I said to him, for me to be blessed, please, I beg you, take it. Is that, is that the way you see it? I said, yes. He said, okay, I will take it. He bowed down. And I said, am I dreaming? And I said, whoever would tell this, they would never believe it. And I said, 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 I participants in the conference left that day but for me because my flight was the following day I was shifted to another hotel that belonged to that church when I entered the hotel I have never seen a beautiful hotel like that one I entered they received me they gave me, they gave me the key to the hotel room I entered my room I opened the door but I could not find the lights. Mm. It was all dark. I touched every wall. I searched for the switch. I never bothered. I went back to the reception. <laughs> I said, I can't find the lights. They said, we are sorry. We forgot to tell you. Use the card. You have to press somewhere on the card. Then I saw a red area on the card. So I went back. I, I pressed the, the, the red area on the card. All the lights went on. There was just, it was just a hole, no bed, no table, nothing. I said, what do you mean no table, no bed, no table, 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 and so I began to wonder, should I sleep on the floor? What do I do? Can I tell you, in your life, there is so much you haven't known. The more you enter your glory, the more you understand things. I sat 
I tried to look for the bathroom. I could not see it. It was empty, like you see the stage here. I went back to the reception. I said, excuse me. <laughs> there is no bed in my hotel room. They said, please bear with us. We are so now I went with the, a staff member. There was a remote control inside the room. They pulled out the remote control. control. When they pressed the remote control, <laughs> the bed came out of the wall. Well prepared. The desk came. The TV was released. Something came down from above. Came down. And made the washroom. The bathroom. I said, no, no, he you. Ended. Now you can go. <laughs> okay. I said, this village life is too much for me. Ariko, However, <laughs> don't you laugh at me. At least I was able to go there. You're laughing at me, but I at least made it there. And as I tell you, I have slept in five star and seven star hotels but I had never seen that I said let me take a shower when I entered the bathroom I, I could not see the bath the taps I, I looked at the, at the remote control there was nothing to help me there and I said this time I will not go back to inquire I will sleep without taking a shower should I go down to the reception again this was like on the 10th floor the tenth floor I could not see water. My heart would tell me, just, just leave it, just leave it. I had seen that everything was coming from the roof and I tried to look for a switch. There was nothing. I went down to the reception again. I said to them, this time I won't come again. But I can't see water. They came again. Now from my bed to the right side there was a button for the shower for the TV programs for the light adjustment right on the bed. When he pressed something on the, on the bed, I had the water gushing in the bathroom. I said, man, show me everything so that I don't call you again. He said, please, we are sorry. We thought you read everything from the bed. I said, okay, I will not ask again. <laughs> I left the hotel early the following morning to avoid another scandal. I had been living in ghostly or vapor process. God was saying, I'll take you I'll show you great You will see what you've never seen. And I would enjoy the blessings. But when I saw it, it is glorious. Nibziz. Glorious. I prayed for you tonight. That God will change your life and you'll be transferred from walking after promises but walking into tangible glory. 
Some of the things that help us to enter into the fulfillment of promises quickly is the power of confession. When you confess, I am great. I am the head. I am amazing. I am beautiful. Those who are collectively come together as a cloud to produce rain. Muri fizika ari cyo bita ngo ni puissance de conversion. In physics there's what they call the power of convergence. Niki iyo izombaraga. What is that power? No gukuri kintu muri eta cyarimo ikaja mu yindi eta mu kindi ki. Is the power of transforming something transferring something from one shape, one status into another. Have you ever seen water becoming ice? When you take water and you freeze it below zero, it becomes snow. It becomes ice. That is the transformation. Transferring a substance from one state to another. And it, 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 it gains another glory. It gains another glory. The wind you see can be transformed into water. Water can become another thing. You say you are poor. Yet you have a nice voice. Your voice can be Recorded, can be recorded and produce money for you. Because you have applied the principle of the power of convergence. Converse, converse, the power of conversion. The voice has become an audio voice recorded on the cassette. That cassette can make you earn a living. It is you who can convert things. And then we'll see you in another glory. But empty words with that transformation when you begin to confess now begin to move like what you confessed. No. I am weak. What we say will carry a tone your tone works in teaching, works in convincing, works in convincing tonality. The tone. I cannot say Gomshan. I love you. The voice and the tone do not match. Love always goes with softness. I love you. you. That is how love is expressed. Anger. You cannot say, I hate you. I hate you with all my heart. It cannot match. But it sounds better when you say, I hate you. The problem we have today, we haven't learned in our transformation, we haven't learned how to use the confession, the tone, gest, and the gesture, and the behavior. And the behavior. So that they begin to behave like you confessed. When you know you are a son of the king, you walk like a king. You don't walk as if you're starving. We are sons of the royalty. A son of the king does not boast, but then they, all, they don't make them like, like, themselves like dogs. They speak as they should. They speak the truth. Change your mindset, your words, your actions, your walk, your life. When you do it, you will enter into your glory. Hinduka transform Ichakatan. number five is walking with the right people. Kugendana Nabanova Quiri. 
walking with the right people. Iyo ushaka kumenya umuga neza urimo when you want to learn very well to master your profession ugendana naba umenyereye ba ukoze you walk with the masters of the profession ise siko bigenda is it that so waburu mu doctor ukirwana naba kanishi could you can you be a doctor and spend your time with mechanics no no aho mwirirwa where you spend your time you spend time with doctors and you talk and they sharpen your knowledge iyo when ujana nabantu badakwiri you walk with the wrong people bagusiga icyubahiro bafite mu rugo rwego they will give you the level of glory they have in that profession umugabo witwa ah amani yishwe niki why was the man the man called herman was killed kuva hejuru kunde wi minister akirirwa rwana nababoyi nabazamu coming down from his seat from his position as the minister to spend time fighting with god do you know what happened umuzamu yaramukuruye umuzamu nawe yizamukira hejuru se kobyo iyo niko lwa bimera the lord iyo wajanye nabo hasi bafata umwanya wawe hejuru nuko umwanya w'umuntu wese usigara uri empty iyo yahavuye iyo wavuye mu mwanya wawe ukamanuka hasi uwo hasi wazamuka mu wawe ukaguma ni wewe uhitamo ikindi iyo ushaka kuzamuka ugendana nabazamutse simvuze ngo wanga batarazamuka ari kugendana nabazamutse ishuti zawe ni zihe muri ibi bihe byose ta kuno uzahindirwa amateka ugira icyubahiro cyawe ukigendana nabantu nabo bataragira icyubahiro who are your friends today ngo nange ngo mwange injuti muzikunde ariko gendana nabakugeza hari who are your friends today i'm not here to advocate for you to hate people who are of a low profile but i want you to understand the people you spend your time with can either pull you down or pull you up Luka ibicu munani ibici cyenda Luke chapter 9 kuborongo 28 verse 28 Hanyuma yivyo wakizi imisi umunani ajana Petero na Yohana na Yakobo azamuka umusoje za gusenga agisenga ishusho yo mu masohe ihindu kukundi ni myenda ye iba imye imyeru irabagirana abantu babiri bavugana nawe ari bo Mose na Eliya baboneka bafite ubwiza bavuga ibyurupfu rwe urwo agiye kuzapfira i Yerusalemu Petero nabo bari kumwe bara bara barahuni barahunikiraga bakangutse rwose babona ubwiza bwe burabagirana nabo bantu babiri bahagaranye nawe nuko bagiye gutandukana nawe Petero abwira Yesu ati data buje ni byiza ubwo turi hano reka ducingande eshatu imwe yawe indi ya Mose n'indi ya Eliya yabivugiye atyo kuko atarazi cyavuka tiyarazi icyavuka akibivuka igicu kiraza kiroba kingiriza bakingiyemo baratinya and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering and behold there talked with him two men which were Moses and Elijah and who appeared in glory and spoke of his disease which he should accomplish at Jerusalem but Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep and when they were awake they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him and it came to pass as they departed from him Peter said unto Jesus master it is good for us to be here and let us make three tabernacles one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias not knowing what he said while he spake there came a cloud and overshadowed them and they feared as they entered into the cloud yesu yabanye na petero na yohana na bagenzi be jesus was with peter john and others asanabo and he became like them bakichwa ninzara hamwe they would hang with him babana gutyo they live together bararuhana they were tired together and they thought he's like Umusume. that one day yesu ashaka kubereka jesus wanted to show them uwe ubwo abantu yakagombye kuba ari kumwe nabo that this is where i'm supposed to be he took them to the mount they went to mount tabor when they reached the mountain top they started praying peter and others fell asleep 
These are the people Jesus was used to going with. The weak who sleep when they begin to pray. Now if you pray with somebody who sleeps when you're praying, where would they take you? Abba. These people. <laughs> yes! Jesus. Summon two men. These are the people. At least, whom I should be working with. These are men who have a body different from other physical bodies. These are men who are taken to another level. Moses was buried by God. Elijah was raptured by God. They put on another body. The body of glory. The body of honor. The special body. Now that glow that they had, that they had it is called kabod. Kabod in Hebrew is kabod. In, in Greek it is doxa. This word, this kind of glory, has nine things. The first word, this kabod, this glory, means riches. What will prove that the glory of God is upon you is the riches that you are about to acquire. Number two, this is kabod, which is the glory. The second thing we see in it is heaviness. 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 There's something that is waiting. Glory is heavy. You cannot measure it. The glory is heavy. Heaviness. Heaviness. Another thing in the glory that we find in the glory is a burden. When you have the glory of God, you have a burden. Every glory has a burden. Every dimension of glory gives you responsibility. And responsibilities give you burden. When you are rich and others are poor, you have a burden. When you are honored and others are despised, you have a burden to raise the earth. This is cardboard. When you are heavy, you make others heavy. When you are broke, you make others great. When you are not sleeping with other you give others food. The glory of God gives you a burden. When you have the glory without the burden, it's not from God. The glory of God is not envious. Wherever you go, you see you seek others to come there. Whatever you achieve, you want others to achieve. That is the glory. It makes you burden to raise others. That's why Jesus brought them to the mountain. For them to see how other men are. To see how other men are. To see how others behave. To see know who Jesus is. And the people he should be talking to. She just raised them. He had a burden. The word kabod, which is the glory, has a fourth meaning, which is reputation. Reputation is a good name. When you have a the glory, you are not. They took a the talk of you well or bad is the comments you hear in the city. What shows that you have the glory of God are the comments people make about you on the street. Those who make and positive comments, and positive comments, whatever they say, they mention your name. Are you hearing? Reputation. Reputation. You are famous. You are known. The glory we are seeking. We need to live with the right people for us to reach the glory. 
The that never flies, who never knows where there is a no food. Inyoni yiki ya handi wala ishima ngugira mababa mezi. Hale kikiba na nanyina, nta ufuka kukira mababa mezi. If you stay in your homeness, no one will ever appreciate what you have, but you go to another place, they will appreciate what you have. Ichagatano. Number five. Kisoa nurakabodi. That we find in glory. Nagachiro. Is importance. 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 Uwa importa. You become important when you are in the glory of God. People begin to invite you to other weddings when they never invited you before. Because when you see that your family family had abandoned it, but now they begin to invite you in every ceremony. Now you understand the glory the cupboard of God has come upon you. (laughs) Daudi. David, they, the family ignored him and he collected, they didn't know about him. Then Samuel said, We will not eat until David is here. A great prophet gave him glory. We will not eat. Unless he comes. He started to have glory. Who are you working with? You must be important in society. In your family. In your home. That's what we call cupboard. Or doxa. To have importance. If you don't have dignity in society. Ask God. To give you glory. Number six. Kabod, that kabod includes, it means wealth. It is different from riches. Wealth includes many things. Health, greatness, intellect. You are wealthy in many areas. Number seven, honor. Wherever you go, He'll say, please bring them to the front seat. Before you get the glory, you sit in the behind in the in the back seats and nobody even pays attention to you. But when you have entered into your glory, about 10 people beg you to come to the front seat. That is Umunani. number eight, which the cupboard means Isobanura majesty. It means majesty. 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 The general word in Kenya Rwanda is honor still. Majesty. Majesty. An honor that includes fear. You are feared. You are revered. And people cannot eat before you come. Sleep with that before you come. All yawning and they say we were waiting for you. Majesty. That is majesty. Majesty. Nine. Cupboard means manifestation de la gloire. Manifestation of glory. Manifestation of glory. All these things they are comprised in the word glory. Which the path was talking to us about. And has taken steps to our greater glory. He meant we must be rich. That's what he means. We must be rich. We must be heavy. We must get a burden. We must have a good reputation. We must become important. We must be wealthy. We must have honor. We must have majesty. And to manifest the glory. That is what the 70 days is When Jesus raised his disciples, they saw nine things in him that they need not before. Do you know the people who were with him? Moses. A man who was buried by God. Do you know who was with him? Elijah. A man who never died. 
You know what it means? Even myself, my death is God. My resurrection is God. Just like you said, I will rise as Elijah was there. When you saw yes. it, Jesus was, was full of these two men. These were men who talked with him. These are the men he talked with. Who do you talk with? Who do you associate with? God elevate me, elevate me, but who do you spend your time with? No. No way. Hindura inshuti muriyomugoro. Change your friends tonight. Sinvuze ngo wange abo mwagenda. I'm not saying that you hate the people you walk with. But the years you have spent with them, you never made any small step into your progress. Whoever associates with the man who is rich, they will give you their riches. When you befriend a man of nobility, they will give you cows to help you out. Who are you associating with tonight? Who do you want to marry? Who do you think of spending the rest of your life with? You must choose somebody who will help you rise, not fall. If you walk with the wise, you will be wise. If you walk with the intercessors, you will be an intercessor. If you walk with the readers of the word, you will read the word. If you walk with the great, you will be great. Brethren, you and I, we have a level that we need to rise to. But we must know who do we associate with? When I was in Atlanta City, I had a friend. We lived together. We lived together. It's a family. They are friends. And then I'll go there to greet them. And then any time I went there, I passed by to greet them. One day they said to me, We have a friend of ours. Would you mind saying hello to them? Of course, of course your friend should be my friend. They said no. Let's uh, leave that. But one day we will try for you to meet them. They were my friends. American friends. Okay. Then one day, a young man, an American man, a young American man, became president. He was their friend. Do you know the first black American president? We will not mention the name. We are using symbols here. If you don't know who that young man is, ask your friends who are greater than you. They will tell you. Then they contacted me where I was. They said quickly, 
you were among the guests of honor who will attend the swearing in ceremony of the president. Mm. I remember the Bijombo. I looked at why they were inviting me to attend the swearing in ceremony. The man is a great man in the world. This man is the simplest, is the least of all in the world. How can it be that the great meets the greatest? The greatest the simplest man was able to climb by the staircase of the great. He climbed the ladder of the great. And that ladder took him to the great one. To the greatest one. <laughs> On the day of his swearing in ceremony, there were millions of people who had arrived at 2 a.m. made long lines like from Kanombe to Nyabugogo about 10 queues. They had to be searched. There was a lot of snow now, the simplest man came in a limousine which drove him all the way to the door, all the way to the entrance of the president who is going to be sworn in. He entered. You see somebody from Bijombo? When I looked before me, I saw former presidents of the United States seated in the same area where I was when I used to watch them on TV and in the newspapers. After the swearing in ceremony, I will not tell you what followed. What a friend could do for another friend. You can imagine. Where did I get that? I, the simplest. I climbed by the shoulders of the friends who are great. You are there praying. You are praying to always, God, change my life. We will pray, we will fast and do everything we have to do. But if you don't learn this principle, to associate with the great, you will never go far. The great will never push you back once you break through and reach them. It's only those people around them who are not great who will take you back. The herdsman will deny you a bull and the owner of the bull will give it to you freely. Change what now? Start changing. Jesus was showing Peter and Peter had and he said I will build three houses here. We will stay here. Jesus 
Jesus showed them the body he had before he came to the earth. He showed them a body he would get after resurrection. That is the body of Jesus. Which the saints who have. Which the saints who have. A body of glory. Glory is a garment. It is like a garment. You put on a garment of glory. You put on a glory. And wherever you go, they will know. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know when I left the place? Everybody was asking for my business card and I had nothing. And I didn't want to take my business card so that they didn't know what I did. Hallelujah. You leave them in suspense. They give their business cards, but they will never know who you are. You just keep them in suspense. Do you mind? I will send you my email. I don't have an email here. Do you mind? Come give it to us. I will send you an email. You even change your accent. You even change your accent. And you don't see the ads so that they don't discover you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Do you mind? I will send you my email. I don't have email right now. I can send you. Gucho, walangi zuki, uga komeza. Do tinda ne nawe. Niko vigenda. Kuko ba kuvonyu kume na ba komei. They saw you with the great. You don't want them to think otherwise about you. You keep them in suspense and say the list. Every level of glory has a mindset and a language. Right now, if the cabinet, the, if the government appoints you as a cabinet member, you cannot come to the church. You change everything, including your dress and code. And when you're about to come, you inform them for them to find a seat. That's the way it is. That's the you are respected by the nation. Why should we not respect you? When things change, I ask you, change your friends. I'm going to pray for you. When Saul encountered Samuel, he became a new man. Because when God is in shooting, we will not take anything away from you. None. We will not take anything away from you. None. No shaki shebide ebire. Shindura gusagato. Kari akaza kugeza kukan. Kabe gato kabe. Akano fori kangeze. Kuri tanga na ibi tibiwa bide ebire. Bzo saba ana kabani. Just change one friend and that friend will take you to another friend. Don't stress yourself trying to get bigger friends beyond your reach. Just get the one friend you need to change to another one later. One day after preaching abroad, I saw a white girl coming to greet me. I was tired. And she kept talking to me, preacher, preacher. Uh, my English was not good. Her English was not good. I said, what's wrong? Preacher. She said, Preacher, I want you to pray for my uncle. Okay, come. I said, Come. She said, No. I want you to go home to pray for her, hey. for him. Where? Who's the uncle? Do you know who the uncle was? 
yari president w'igihugu kimwe cyo muri America Latin was the president of one of the Latin, nation, Latin American nations. I will not mention the name of the country. Mm. Go, please. She said, please come and pray for my uncle. When I heard that it's the president, I said, how can I go there? Because that's where I belong. belong. I know the left for where I belong. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you understand the degree, the level of your glory, it begins to attract you. I don't like to talk about this. But tonight I just share this with you. A week later, a private jet came. I landed to where I live in the US and I went entered the plane went to the uncle <laughs> the people you think are great they have uncles they must seem to be simple people but they have great uncles we have great you don't want to associate with others, to integrate with others, to familiarize yourself with new friends. They have their uncles. When I arrived, I saw the uncle, people, the uncle was a great man. We met. Do you know what he said to me? He said, she is my daughter. I love her so much. Whatever she asks, I do it. And he apologized for delaying to send the private jet. I had appointments with other people we were meeting. And I know I delayed to invite you. But tomorrow morning, we will meet you. They took me to sleep in a place where the uncle can take you to sleep. Early in the morning, they sent aides. I went to see the uncle in his house. I prayed for him. And then he said to me, I want to give you a tour here. And I said, who am I that they are going to give me a tour? And I said, how did I come here? Somebody is telling you some things, but you, you are Peter absent-minded. That's how the picture is. I was all along wondering, where am I? Just like Peter who didn't know what to say. And he said, let us build a tent here. After the uncle gave me a tour, gave me the private jet to fly back to the U.S. Brethren, you could encounter an uncle as well. When you meet and befriend the daughter of the uncle, Never think that one day you just magically jump onto the uncle, but there are mediators between you and uncle. Learn to associate with the mediators. May God bless you. May God be gracious. We are about to pray so that God with the right people and changes. The word become flesh. Shall we rise and pray? Jesus. Jesus. Change our lives, Lord. Oh, yes. Jesus. Rava girana
Jesus shine in us shine in us that people will see you people know you and people will hear you give us your glory that the way you are give us transformation transformation our lives people see your glory through us connect us with the mad people the people you predestined to us us into there are people you prepared to us to take us where you prepared where you kept your manifest you manifest father manifest your power manifest your glory our lives. In our lives. Our lives. Our friends. Our circumstances. Take us to our greatness. To our heaviness. To our importance. To our dignity. To our majesty. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. And for so close. And for so close. Through our lives. We thank you for you. You want to give us the glory. You want to give us You want to give us You want to give us the glory. 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 Amen. 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 Lift up your hand if you want to give your life to the Lord. We are about to pray right now for you to receive Jesus. If you are here tonight, you haven't received the Lord. Lift up your hand where you are. I want to pray for you. God bless you. Come forward. Come forward. If another one come forward. If another one come forward. Come and receive Jesus. Come and receive Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Savior. Come and receive the Lord. Come and receive Jesus. Come and receive Jesus. We're waiting for you. Receive the glory of God. The glory belongs to God. All His kingdom. Oh, Majesty. Are you there? Come and receive the Lord. The Lord will bless you. Okay, let us pray for you. If you're listening through TV and radio and social media platforms, and you want to give your life to Christ, join us in this prayer. Let us repeat with the singers. Repeat as the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me. I open my heart. I receive you. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Of my life. From today, I am changed. Receive the glory. Give me the glory. Sit in me. Walk in me. Build in me. Hear my prayer. Connect me with the right. Change my life. And ask me to a greater glory. I thank you, Jesus, for making a child of God. Thank you for doing it. Today and forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Listen to what has happened to you right now. Number one. 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 All your sins from the sins of your childhood today to today are forgiven. Number two, your names are transferred from the book of death, the book of life. Number three, you have received eternal life. 
today, even if you die, you would go to God. Jesus is in you. If we came now, you would go straight. Number four, the peace that surpasses your understanding, God has planted in your heart. Number five, God has brought joy in your life. Number six, which is last but now the spirit heaven has thrown up a party that's greater joy in heaven because you are saved let's go and meet the man of God there this man you see let's go he wants to meet him let's go and meet him God bless you God bless you thank you Keep standing.